the Education Committee of Parliament has oversight duties with respect to activities in the educational sector of the country. As part of efforts to monitor the state of selected e-blocks in some regions, the minority first paid a visit to the site of the proposed Goy Community Day Senior High School in Sege in the Greater Accra region. Members of the committee expressed disappointment with how the project had stalled five years after it commenced. The ranking member on the committee, Peter Nochu Koto, spoke to City News on their observations. I am disappointed. I'm at a loss as you know, what I have to say. Because if you know that your predecessor has invested public funds, why do you abandon the project? Is it uh, hatred for the people or it is love? The next stop was a plow in the Volta region. Here, the e block from the exterior looked almost ready for use. After inspecting the classrooms and other facilities, Deputy Ranking Member Dr. Clementa Park called for a probe into the use of the proceeds of Get Fund Securitization, which had not been used to complete these projects. For the $1.5 million that Get Fund was securitized to obtain was supposed to help complete what they themselves described as essential educational infrastructure and they indicated in their memo to parliament that this was to address the increased number of students who have come on stream as a result of the coming into being of the free senior school policy so why is this here is it that we don't have the money what have they done with the 1.5 million dollars billion that we securitize get fund for. Is it not time that they come to parliament to account to us how many of the critical educational infrastructure they have completed so that we know that there is value for money? In a community such as this, which doesn't even have a secondary school, Aflao, is it fair? MP for Ketu South, Jifa Gomashi, lamented the impact of the stored project on her constituents. A lot of money would have gone into this project. And for five years that it's been sitting here, it's traumatizing, it's troubling. I mean, this particular classroom right here, today, if you put a teacher in there and children there, they should be able to study. So why is it locked? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why is it that we, we, we must be talking NDC era, MPP era, where education is concerned? Teddy Chum. He can sugarcoat, marinate, garnish everything that he wants to say about education, but the reality is in our faces. The reality is in the fact that under his watch, under his watch, children go to school for less than two months and they're home. And then they go back and then they're home. It, would he put his children through? This is spelling doom. We are at the precipice. Already, uh, my generation and the ones behind me, we see a gap from what we went through and what they went through. And going down the ladder, these ones, they will not have a story. As part of their oversight responsibilities, members of the minority on the Education Committee of Parliament have been touring some project sites of the e-blocks started under the Mahama administration. They are demanding swift action to operationalize these projects. Reporting for City News uh, from the Volta region, my name is Duke Menzo Koko.